Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, new week for me over here. I'm still at home. I'm just uh, trying to enjoy morning coffee and trying to ignore the freaking traffic that just keeps streaming by. Hopefully it's not too noisy for you guys. What a week, what a week. Came back to uh, do a job and help a family member with a ride to the airport. And both of those things fell through. (laughs) And uh, that's just a long story I don't want to get into. Uh, On top of that, while being home, uh, wifey's car broke down and uh, it it might have cost us a bunch of money that was unnecessary to pay rip-offs to do work that wasn't needed. Come to find out, um, this is funny, the same day, or within two days, uh, her car overheated uh, coming home from work and she needs that car to get to work that's the most important thing for us right now is, is that she remains working while I you know, work on the bus here and there uh, so wifey's car broke down it was overheating and had a coolant leak that I had to fix and it was a pain in the ass and hard to reach and I had to be innovative it's because of the way it was leaking uh, you know, but I at least had the Suzuki the little samurai um, that I could take her to work in the morning. Woke up in the morning to do that and had every intention of fixing her car within, you know, a day or two. So she wasn't left without a ride and I could, uh, you know, get back to the bus and start working again. And uh, I go to start the Suzuki in the morning to warm it up and spend a little rough idle and cold starts and stuff. Um, and it's never had much power since we bought the thing and had work done already to it. And, uh, I'm warming it up and then I give it a little gas and it stalls out on me and won't start again. <laughs> At the same time, her car takes a crap and then, so she had to get a ride from a co-worker that day and then I spent two days trying to figure out my vehicle after fixing hers so at least she had wheels to get back to work and uh, you know I had mechanics over here or what they call themselves mechanics that didn't know jack about jack and didn't do the proper tests come to find out I had uh, slipped my timing by like three teeth because of work that was done before to it that we paid good money for and it was shoddy work and the bolts loose them by hand and the pulley was, was all kind of wonky in there oh my god and I've never done a timing job uh, before, so I've seen them done, and I've always been intimidated by it, but my father-in-law was here and came home to help out, and, and uh, he's been hurting and stuff, so he basically just shadowed me and explained what to do, and uh, I tore down the engine and pulled the fan out and, uh, and the shroud, and disconnected a bunch of stuff and we got the valve cover off and to look and see you know make sure after being quoted $675 for a blown head gasket because I was missing compression in just one cylinder they didn't test all the cylinders I did a little research online and said well it, it could I, I could still be lucky here and I sure enough was it was the timing that was off and so the belt was still good in there, surprisingly. Uh, it's a good one. And um, I was able to fix it. And it took me all day uh, with, with the help and advice of a neighbor who loves still Suzuki Samurai, Puerto Rican dude, and my father-in-law as well, uh, just with his knowledge and, and explaining how engines work and gave me a better understanding of everything. So, uh, yeah, got the Suzuki running, and it's running like a charm now. It's it's faster, it's, you know, it idles smoother. It seems like it's already sucking up less gas and more efficient, so I'm very happy to accomplish that. Very happy to also say that, you know, I was able to fix uh, my girl's car and get her back to work, and, and um, yeah. So proud of that, but not proud that I had to come home to get let down by two different people when I made plans to take off from bus building for a week to help other people out and then get shafted 
at the last minute and rescheduled on. So, uh, yeah, it's just a huge test from the universe, and uh, I'm going to be resilient and say it was all a, a good test. I need to know how to do timing. In case we ever have that same problem in the future, I can do the work myself, especially if we're out in the middle of nowhere with no help. Um, I'll know where to begin and where to how to diagnose stuff. So yeah, I won't run this intro on too long because I gotta, you know, drive another hour and a half back to to the bus over there and I'm not sure what we're gonna do this week. There's a whole lot to do. We're limited on funds, so I'm gonna make the best of what we got and do what we can and uh, and get the help from Floyd that we can. But um joining me for another week of uh, updates here. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being patient while I uh, <laughs> spin my wheels, uh, hypothetically speaking. Finish this uh, cup of coffee. Pack up the cooler. And head over to the bus. Jeremy here. Catch you all on the other side of this. Peace. Hey guys. Uh, familiar sight here. I'm laying down in Floyd's bus. Uh, I made it, but I made it an hour before he was ready to leave. And the reason for that was I uh, went to go start the Suzuki and it started after going through all that hell with the timing uh, and stuff. Um, you know, I, I did uh, spew some oil on the on the engine and stuff from having the valve cover off um, to make sure it started before putting it back together and uh, you know I figured you know it would be smoking and burning oil on the exhaust manifold and then on the engine block for a while you know I degreased it and washed it off but uh, sure enough my problems weren't over nope the valve uh, cover gasket was shot after putting it back on and saying, yeah, you could probably replace that, but it should last for now. No, nope. I wasn't that lucky. So luckily, uh, the advanced auto parts near our house had one in stock. Uh, normally for Suzuki stuff in that year, make and model of the vehicle, they've usually got to order things and get them uh, next day or whatever, but I got lucky. They had one in stock in town. So I got that, I replaced that, uh, put the engine back together, degreased the whole thing again, uh, gave it an oil change, new oil filter, and uh, another almost four quarts of oil. And uh, yeah, finally hit the road around 12.30, no, 11.30. Got here about one. Uh, Floyd was having trouble with his riding lawnmower. A big old 54 inch deck on that thing. He's got an awesome mower and great equipment here. But yeah, he was slipping the belts and and his thing stalled out. And then I got here and uh, shut the Suzuki off and said hi to him and his buddy Frank. And then went to move the Samurai again and turn the key and nothing. Dead battery. Man, Murphy's Law. It's been a real... B-I-T-C-H, totally, when it rains it pours. It's all a huge test, I think. It's 100 degrees here today. Uh, I'm not gonna work on the bus today, but I'm here with the bus, and uh, I'll get a fresh start on it tomorrow. I'll have three days on it to get some stuff done. You know, I've got plenty to do. And metal's already here to make my doors for the other storage boxes. Uh, Floyd fabricated our a little muffler for us for uh, uh, and a pipe for our generator. I've got some extra metal that I might be able to have enough to fabricate a box around the generator too to muffle some of that engine noise. Uh, and of course the roof deck needs to get mounted down. And uh, we're gonna do two lengths, uh, 12 foot lengths to cover the whole length of the middle part to mount it down to the kind of near the center of the roof and then we're also going to make brackets probably about 16 brackets 
you know, uh, to take up the length on the ends, on the edges. So uh, it'll be nice and stiff when you're standing up against the rail and, and viewing the scenery and out there in the wilderness. And uh, there should be no reason to worry at all. That thing's not going to move when we're done with it. You're going to have to bolt it all in place, of course. And uh, once the plumbing and the rest of our electrical and hopefully we can get the propane lines run and everything like that and get some propane hooked up and test everything. Uh, and once I know that all that's sealed up and ready to go, I can uh, then take the bus back home, an hour and a half back home, and start building on it, uh, as well as getting it uh, spray foam insulated. And uh, I'm going to have to pull the roof deck off, take it into my buddy's powder coat shop, and uh, have a powder coat that white because I felt it being beamed on from the sun all day. It's super hot. So, yeah. That's my update for today. It's about a 10, 11 minute long video, uh, but I want to you know, finish off my intro from this morning and let you know that the vehicle's problems persisted. I've got a battery charger on my battery now. I uh, put some, I topped off the cells with some uh, clean water. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see what's happening. You know, I got it on trickle charge. So I don't really need to go anywhere today. I've got all my food and drink here and sitting in Floyd's bus. It's nice and AC and insulated. So I'm just going to mellow out. I might take a nap from this last week of just monotony and, and aggravation and um, yeah, go out there later. I've got a voltage load uh, meter that I'll put on the battery once I get it charged up fully again. Um, I mean, I shouldn't have a bad alternator. If anything, it's just a faulty battery. It's only a couple months old. The alternator's new, the starter's new, and all my connections are good, except I may need some new terminal on the post of the battery because they're old pop that was stuff. I'll put some nickel ones on there or whatever, but yeah, I'll go out there with a load test later on tonight and make sure that I'm getting at least, you know, 14 volts when the, when the engine's running because that's what the alternator should be producing. You know, 14, 14 and a half volts, and then it should be above 12 volts when, when it stops and just to test the voltage there. So I'll do those two tests and make sure I may need to have to go replace this battery that we just got uh, so I am reliable with, with wheels while I'm over here and I can have a way home when I'm done for the week. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my update for today. I will have a more exciting update tomorrow. Sorry, it's just me talking. But this is the kind of thing that uh, people deal with. And it's all part of the journey, so I figured I'd put it into our vlog here. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow or maybe later tonight if I have any new news. Otherwise, uh, everything should go smoothly from here on out. At least I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that's the case. <laughs> I've had one stroke of bad luck after another, and I'm not going to jinx myself here. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the day. Take a nice long nap, eat some lunch, have a drink, and uh, just cool off and think about what's next. So, yeah, thanks for joining me for another update. I will see you guys uh, soon with another one. Um, posting these things back to back every day as I work and get more accomplished. Or like today, didn't get much accomplished except getting over here. That was an accomplishment in itself after the week that I had making vehicle repairs and everything. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Keep it real out there and uh, build your own utopia. That's what we're trying to do here. Until the next one, peace.